I'm Maddie Gianna from Corning Incorporated and this is Inspired by Glass. The automotive industry is rapidly changing thanks in part to new trends focused on connectivity, social behavior, and the mobile life. Corning is accelerating towards the intersection of connectivity and innovation with our precision glass. At CES 2016, we debuted our vision for a connected car console, and visitors were in awe of how Corning's advanced glass technologies enabled a more seamless and enhanced driving experience. We've evolved our vision for CES 2017 to bring you the ultimate connected car prototype. Are you ready to take a ride with us? We took the road less traveled to get us here to CES 2017, but we've arrived with our connected car prototype decked out in Corning Automotive's latest advanced glass technologies. Let's talk with Doug Harshbarger, Division Vice President and Business Director for Corning Automotive Glass to learn a little bit more about how Corning is accelerating into the automotive industry. Doug, thanks so much for joining me today. The car is beautiful. Thanks. You know, we're really excited about uh, being here at CES with this demonstration of our uh, coolest technologies for the automotive industry. It's really an opportunity for us to share with the world our vision for how our glass, our other technologies, can really enable things that are coming down the pike for the automotive industry. What are some of the current trends that are driving the automotive industry? You know, I don't think it's out of line to say that the automotive industry is in a bit of a uh, transition period or maybe even a renaissance with the number of changes that are coming. There are long-term trends like uh, better fuel efficiency, uh, cleaner, greener cars, uh, safer cars. Those things have been around for a long time and automakers are always trying to do better on that stuff. But what's really interesting now is with the advent of information technology, um, more and more of that being built into the cars. It's really changing the concept of the, the cockpit of the car and also the surfaces that are used in the car. And uh, people want to bring their mobile phone experience right into the vehicle with them. And that really changes the game about how you design some things. In addition, you have really new trends, things like autonomous vehicles and shared vehicles, where you have to rethink a lot of different aspects of the car. And I really think the automotive of industry is, is working hard to, to make a major change in how they design their products. Can you tell me a little bit about the vision and concept behind Corning's connected car? Sure. So, you know, we always try and take an approach where um, we want to demonstrate our technologies in real use conditions to open people's minds for how they can, can use them to their best purpose. And we've really tried to do that with this car. It kind of starts on the outside of the car. We've used our uh, Gorilla Glass lightweight glazing on the windshield, the roof, the back window, and the side windows here. All of that allows the car to be lighter, so addressing the trends of cleaner and greener cars, better fuel economy, more CO2 emissions. Because of the toughness of Gorilla, windows like the windshield here are more damage resistant. Uh, better able to withstand things like rock strikes, which addresses the safety aspect of it. Doug, Corning Advanced Glass Technologies are also featured on the interior of the car. Can you tell me a little bit about what Corning products were featuring inside? Sure. Maybe I'll start with a little bit about the whole concept for the design of the interior. Our idea was that we wanted to create an environment that was configurable, rich with displays, something that would allow you to bring your mobile phone experience right with you when you come into the car. And so we maybe have gone a little crazy with all of the different uh, ways that you can show information inside of this car. Let's go through them a little bit at a time here. So first it starts right up here on the dashboard. We have head-up displays here for the driver as well as for the passenger, both of which are projecting information right onto the, to the windshield so you can see it while you're driving. We also have an all-glass dashboard. Um, the dashboard has displays with information for the driver, general information for the vehicle, as well as special information for the passenger. That's got a Gorilla Glass cover on it, which of course is durable and scratch resistant. You have your uh, center console here also, which has a, uh, a touch screen on it with a uh, Gorilla Glass cover. We have a uh, uh, display here on the steering wheel, also with a uh, Gorilla Glass uh, durable touch screen cover glass. That sort of stuff, everyone's familiar with Gorilla Glass. We even have it on a controller that's used here inside the vehicle to control a gaming function that's built into uh, the passenger's display. But we also have some uh, a little bit uh, less common Corning technologies. Here in the steering wheel is a Fibrance illumination fiber, which has a, a functional as well as a decorative role. We have OLED lighting here in both door panels, which is made with a, another Corning technology. The Gorilla Glass in the roof 
is also helping with uh, the dynamic tintability of the roof glass. So we really have a lot of different Corning technologies built in here. Corning Gorilla Glass provides sleek yet durable surfaces on the interior of this connected car. What about interior glass surfaces is attractive for automotive designers? Well, in order to answer that question, I think you first have to start with why are having more displays an attractive thing for automotive interior designers? And the, the, the basic uh, idea is that in the car of the future, which may be an autonomous car or a shared car, uh, you want to have surfaces that can be configured for the specific use. And that's something that displays do really well, right? You can make it look like whatever you want it to look like. And so in this car, as, as we've talked about before, we have displays in many, many different places allowing that flexibility. But then the question is, if you're going to have that display, what sort of surface do you want it on it or around it? And Gorilla Glass has some really, really great features that makes it a, a, almost an ideal material for this purpose. First thing is that it's, uh, it's glass, you know, so it's, a, it's got a rich, authentic look and feel to it. And it's very durable. And so uh, you're not going to scratch it with your keys that you might drop there. Uh, you're not going to change the look and feel of the display or how it works just by day-to-day -day use. It's going to be there on day one. And the other thing about it is, is we've developed a lot of technologies that allow us to configure the glass to suit a particular application. Um, we can put surfaces on it, optical surfaces that handle uh, reflections or glare and avoid, uh, allow it to be um, easily readable in many different ambient lighting conditions. We also have ways to decorate it with a variety of different colors or looks that are uh, uh, really great and something that designers sort of get excited about when we tell them all of the different things that we can do. So it, it is a material that gives you kind of the best of both worlds, something that's real and, and permanent, solid feel, but also flexible to give you a bunch of different designs. Choices. We've only just begun our journey on the road less traveled. With Corning's advanced glass technologies, your driving experience will continue to become more seamless and enhanced. That's it for me on the road to connectivity. Until next time, I'm Maddie GNA, and this is Inspired by Glass.